involved. Um, so there's this building here, you've got, you've got the Salford Gymnastics Centre, and then we, our services were called the Salford Lifestyle Centre. Our services are changed as well. This building is going to be called the Rec. Uh, so it was already called the Rec, so our services will just be the Rec at the Salford Gymnastics Centre. It makes it easier for everyone because at the moment it's the Salford Lifestyle Centre, Salford Gymnastics Centre, and everyone just gets confused as to which one it is, as you guys probably did on the way in. So it's easy for us to just call our services. We are the Rec, which is all the recreational activities up the stairs at the Salford Lifestyle Centre. Yeah. And why was the centre created in the first place? So the reason we do the services we do, uh, we the, the cooperative that managed the Rec and, and Salford involved, uh, we started off uh, in the area. Uh, we were funded, part funded by uh, Church Action Against Poverty and part funded by uh, a couple of local housing associations. Uh, and we um, initially started just to help people. Obviously, this is an area of high deprivation, so we were dealing with the issues that were attached to that. So things like loot, uh, lunch clubs, food banks, jobs clubs, uh, or what we would call sanction busting clubs. So we're well aware with a lot of the people that we work with. Um, we are probably the furthest away from employment, uh, and that's just to, just to do with with um, the, the additional things that have been available to them in the area. So we would do a sanction busting club rather than a jobs club, which would make sure that at least they get the benefits, and then from there it evolved into okay, now you get your benefits, and you, you're not going to have them taken off you. Now let's look at developing and going on to either education or, or employment. Yeah, and um, how many people have you helped so far? I wouldn't know. Uh, we've been in, so we've been in existence now for five years. Um, the cooperative itself, on last count, has 473 members. Uh, but they're just members, they're either members, individuals or member organisations. So you've got, you've got, the way the structure of us is you've got the, the cooperative, which does, uh, which manages everything. And then underneath it, you can either take out single membership, which could be just a, a local resident, or organisation membership. So you've got housing associations, community groups, you know, boxing clubs part of it, the gym's part of it. They're all different services that come in. In regards to how many people we've worked with, thousands, I wouldn't know. When, when I first started, we did community organising around this area and we spoke to 5,000 people uh, just knocking on doors in East Salford. So that should give you an understanding of, of roughly where, 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 we, where we started from. I, I couldn't give you a number of how many yeah. we worked with. Okay. And do you think that it's important for people to like, prioritise their fitness and well-being? Yeah, so the majority of stuff, so we consider ourselves the best signpo signposting organisation in Salford. So we don't profess to be, uh, not profess to be experts in anything else. So we know what we're doing in regards to fitness and in regards to well-being and how they both correlate with each other. But in regards to, you know, up the stairs when you came in, now you'll see it's busy up the stairs. The group that's up the stairs now are, are people in uh, alcohol recovery, or alcohol and drug recovery, sorry. We're not experts in alcohol and drug recovery. So what we do is we work with those people, we create a safe space so they know that if they turn up to the gym at two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, there's going to be um, there's going to be other members of the drug and alcohol community or recovery community in the building at the same time. But then what we'll do is we will bring an external body, so someone like Achieve, for instance, which specialises in drug and alcohol services, they'll come in and they will work alongside us to deliver the stuff that we don't know, if that makes sense. So everything we do is built around the idea of, of, of fitness and health. So you also have a fitness magazine? No, Do that's you know? not true. No, no. so <laughs> I have a fitness magazine, yeah. uh, which is completely separate. I run Inside yeah, Workout okay. magazine, which is a prison fitness and lifestyle magazine, uh, but it's a comp it's a different community interest company. It just so happens that I'm based in the b building, and we do work together with each other because we take referrals from local prisons like HMP Manchester, or Barton Moss, or places like that. They will send people to us, um, and we will put them through the personal training course and stuff like that. But it, it's not involved that does that, it's, it, no, but, it's, but it, it, we do work together. Yeah, so where did that first idea come from for you wanting to do that? The magazine, yeah. whilst I was in prison. Yeah. So I was in HMP Manchester and um, there was a, um, before, long story short, I, went to HM, I, was, in, I was in HMP Manchester and um, there was, it was my second time in and I thought, well, I need to, you know, not come back so I need to get something out of this if that makes sense yeah. so whilst I was in there I noticed that there was a lot of people that you, there's a lot of this idea that you, you're going to rehabilitate everybody in the prison system at once and the whole thing needs overhauling and that's great if someone can do it that's fantastic but the truth is is that to make that um, one person isn't going to do it 
but there were people in the prison system who were engaging with the services in there and they were using um, uh, the gym as a tool if that makes sense so you'll find a group of lads that would go to the gym and they would learn to cooperate because if they didn't cooperate they wouldn't get the gym so it was one way of saying well actually these guys are already willing to cooperate you just need to find them something to cooperate with um, so then that kind of when I came out using the magazine and the supplements and what have you and then using the profit from that to help put people through a lot of people leave a lot of people go to the prison and gym uh, go to the gym in prison sorry um, and they'll do these courses but they only do the courses so they can um, go to the gym they don't understand the quality of what the course actually is so when they come to us we retrain them in what they've already learned but show them how it is um, adaptable to actually get a job or become a personal trainer or, or self